Hi, so this is the first video in the playlist on vectors. Now it's specifically aimed at high school students and really a lot of these questions generally tend to be A or A star type questions. Up until this point you're probably used to seeing vectors written something like this, where what it means is, is that if you're going from one point to another point, let's say on a graph or something like that, you'll go along three units and then you'll go up four units. And they call that a vector and it's a vector movement. And particularly with some of the GCSE type material, you'll do vector movements uh, for things like translations on graphs of shapes and that sort of thing. If you have a look at the video list, then search through the channel and you should be able to find a video on that. Um, what we're going to be doing in this series of videos is looking at a slightly different sort of algebraic vector and the, the couple of things that you need to be aware of is that we're going to be looking at vectors where it gives you an actual movement. So it might say this is vector A, something like that, and it's going to go from A, B to C. So what it'll say is that the vector B, C equals A. Okay, and that's one of the things that we're going to be used in a lot of the GCSE and high school maths um, work that we do. I'll provide a couple of links below this video and you'll be able to download some questions and have a look at some of these types of questions that come across in some of the exam papers. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to know is we're talking about algebraic vectors. So we're going to be using algebra type designation to be able to describe the movement of the vector. Okay, the other thing that you need to be aware of by way of introduction is uh, parallel. Okay, so for instance, if we have a vector, we have a movement like this, let's say that this movement here is A, and that's vector A. Well, actually, if it's going from A to B, it's a positive movement. If it's going from B to C, now providing it's parallel, so let's say it's AB, then what we say is that this is a negative A. Okay, so vector B to A, vector B to A equals negative A. So it's parallel in the opposite direction is negative. Okay, and that's a very important principle that you're going to be using a lot with your GCSE type material. Um, the other thing that we look at is what we call multiple. Okay, so let's say we have this vector A again, and let's say it's that length, it's going from A to B, and it's that length. Well, if this is a value of A, if it's twice as long as that, and parallel, in the same way as it is there, then this is what they call 2A. It's a vector of 2A, so it's twice the vector. Okay, those are the three things that you need to be aware of. And what I'm going to do in the next series of videos is look at specific questions that address these specific points. I hope that's been okay for you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about any of the things that I've said here. Also, um, I will get back to you. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.